WordPress one-click install on your DreamHost hosting account. As you can see, we're at the DreamHost website, and I'm going to click on Customer Login at the top right-hand corner. This will take us to the web panel login. I'm using RoboForm, which stores all my passwords, so I'm just going to click, and it'll automatically enter my email address and password, and then I'm going to click on web panel login. Now that we're in the web panel, I'm going to click on over here on the left where it says one-click installs. It's underneath the box that's called toolbox. This takes us to the one-click installs page. And here we have a choice of easy mode or advanced mode. And then we can also upgrade or remove previously installed software. So we're going to click advanced mode because we want to have control, full control, over our files. Easy mode just doesn't allow us to have access to all the files. As you can see, WordPress is the first option available here. It's automatically marked. It's the first one, so we're good to go there. There are other options here, so you can see there's lots of different software that you can install on your hosting account. Down here it says install to and we're going to choose the domain that we want. I have quite a few domains here. You might only have one or two, but I'm going to choose the domain and now that's the domain, the URL that this WordPress will be installed to. And then the next option is to create a database. We do want it to create a database for us automatically, so we're going to leave that checked and then click install it for me now. Once you've installed that you'll see a success message that says WordPress will be installed in within 10 minutes and you'll receive an email with further instructions which we'll look at next. Here I'm looking at the uh, email that DreamHost sent to us and you can see the title of it is success installing WordPress on your site and it's from DreamHost installer robot. Uh, it may take up to 10 minutes to see this email in your inbox, but also make sure that you check your spam folder just in case uh, it gets dropped in there by accident. There's several. There's a list of several things that they're asking us to do, and the first one is the most important. This is what's going to finish the installation of WordPress. So it's saying uh, create an admin user. It gives us a link. All we have to do is click on the link, and it's going to take us to our domain name, our website, and it's going to ask us for a couple things, our blog title, and don't be fooled by this, this is just the name of your, your website, so, and then the next one is your email address, and there's a little checkbox here that says allow my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati, we do want that, so leave that checked, and then click install WordPress. This takes you to a success page where you see your username and your password. This is for WordPress. You want to make sure that uh, you you know copy this and put it in a safe place. WordPress will also send a uh, email to the email address that you typed in with that information. So I'm going to go ahead and log in now. If I click on log in here. It'll take me to my WordPress admin login page. And then I'm just going to type in my username, paste the password. Again, I'm using RoboForm, so it's going to ask me to create a pass card, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now it's saved in there. You can also have Firefox remember the password. And when you get into the dashboard area, there's lots of things to do. Um, we'll go through those in another uh, video tutorial, but I hope that's been helpful for you, shows you how to install